guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to do a book review for you guys. It's been such a long time since I've done book reviews and I'm just starting to get back in the swing of things. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free book review on Vessel of Power by Michelle O'Leary. I received this book through NetGalley. It, they sent me a free ebook in exchange for a review. I've already reviewed it on my blog and my Goodreads but I didn't have any of my filming supplies with me until recently so I'm just now getting this review up for you guys on YouTube. So to start off with it, I am going to read off of the Goodreads website the synopsis just so you guys have some sort of idea before I get into the actual review. Uh, you guys have to stick with me though. I am really bad at reading out loud. I talk way too fast and I slur my words as some of you guys have probably already noticed if you've watched a couple of my videos. I just talk way too fast. I'm trying to slow down my speech and I'm trying to talk clearly but if you can't understand what I'm saying from talking too fast just go down in the description box and I will put the link to the book for you guys to read the synopsis yourself. Alright, so the synopsis says, Leah must stop the elemental prince at all costs. Prince Dest is searching for the Vessel of Power, an object containing the might of the gods. His soulless father will use it to destroy the, their world, starting with our family. Leah will do whatever it takes to protect the vessel, except she can't seem to end this magnetic prince of fire. Destin won't let anything stand in his way, even a gorgeous changeling with mayhem on her mind. He is determined to prove his worth as son and heir by retrieving the vessel for his father. Leah challenges him at every turn, but he burns whatever he's near... But he burns whenever he's near this tantalizing changeling. Torn between loyalty to family and desire for one another, Le Dustin and Leah struggle to find the right path. So starting off, I really want to talk about the world building. I recently read a novel, Spellbinder by Thea Harris, and the world building was atrocious. I hated it, and that was like, the worst part of the novel, and it really affected how I viewed the rest of the novel. So I read this right after that, and I really went into it hoping that the world building was way better and I kind of went into it hesitantly because I did, this is also a fantasy novel which means there is going to be a bit more world building to, to go, so you can understand what the uh, author is trying to get across to you. So I was really really pleased when the world building was really good. It was worked in, in a way that it didn't slow down the novel at all. It was um, also sprinkled in whenever it was really needed but it wasn't like overdone which is actually really hard to do but it was amazingly done and I was really really pleased with it. I now have a new appreciation for world building thanks to Spellbinder and it's horrible world building. So that is something that I am looking for now more in novels. The other thing that I really love is the characters. I absolutely love the characters and I thought that they were really dynamic. At least some of them were. Some of them were kind of flat. But for the most part, they were really dynamic and I really loved them. My favorite character had to be Ruin. He was so funny and the way he um, counteracted with Destin, his cousin, was just really, really funny and they worked out perfectly. They're an amazing pair. Uh, I really liked Leah as a character, but she was okay. Like I said, my favorite character was Ruin. The only problem that I really had with the novel was the romance between Leah and Destin. It just, like, in the beginning of the novel, it just it wasn't prominent enough. And then all of a sudden it was BAM! right in your face. So I kind of wish that there was a bit more setup for that before it slapped you in the face. Because um, in the beginning of the novel it seemed more like Leah and Ruin were kind of moving towards each other. But it was more like back and forth banter between like siblings and, or like really close friends. And it was like really really funny. Um, but like I said there just wasn't enough attraction really explained the beginning part of the novel for Leanne Destin. With Destin, I enjoyed his character, but I wish that he had a little bit more, I guess, screen time, I guess you can say. It just kind of felt like his character escalated a little too quickly, just like their romance. Other than that, I really, really loved the book, and I thought this was actually going to be a solo novel, but after reading the book, I think there's going to be a second one. I'm not really sure, but I am hoping that there is one because I love these characters, love this world, and I would really like to get back to it. The last thing I want to talk about is actually the sex scenes because, like I mentioned before, this is a romance novel, and with romance novels, there's kind of different levels of sex scenes. And I know this might be uncomfortable for some of you guys, but I thought that you would be better prepared going into this novel. See, I grew up... Uh, Given the talk early, I grew up with my brother's older friends. He's six years older than me. I always was more mature, and sex never bothered me. I read uh, really steamy romance novels. I read erotica. Uh, none of that phases me. You know, I've watched Game of Thrones. I've seen all that stuff. I watched stuff that was similar to Game of Thrones before it even came out. I'm used to that sort of stuff. It doesn't affect me. But I do have friends that are less inclined um, to that and feel really hindered when they read a book and they get to a scene like that because then they just like they either skip over it or they just put the book down they just feel really really uncomfortable about that and I really hate that when I recommend books 
I don't always take that into account, so I'm trying to think more about that and trying to make sure that you guys feel comfortable with it because each romance novel is written a little bit differently. So I just want to say though that there are sex scenes in here, but they are very, very subtle. So there's only about two or three sex scenes in here, but they don't really go into a lot of detail. The first one, it does go into a bit more detail because it actually affects the plot in a kind of significant way, but the rest of the room, it's like... It's like a TV show or movie when um, you know what they're doing, but the, you know, the lights go out and the, the shot closes and then it opens up to the next scene. You don't actually see what's going on, you don't hear what's going on, but you know that it has happened. So that's how it is with this book. It's kind of more about emotions and feeling and less about the actual act that's taking place. So it is, like I said, it's a subtle thing and it will just kind of glide right over that and onto the next part of the story. Um, so if you guys are feeling, if you guys are comfortable with that, then go for it, then that's amazing. If you guys are uncomfortable with that, then, um, I hope you guys still check out the novel because I really enjoy it, but just read or at least skim over that first sex scene. The other one, you can just, like, completely, uh, ignore and go over and just continue on with the rest of the story. If you don't like doing that at all, then I don't recommend you to even try reading this book because, like I said, there are sex scenes even though they're really subtle. Um, like I said, I am going to try to talk more about this when I do book reviews on romance novels because there are different types of sex scenes and there are different levels of comfort when it comes to that. I know a friend of mine that uh, whenever I recommend a book, she asks me straight out if there is one and where it is, like what page, so I can like mark it for her so she can just skip right over it because she just does not feel comfortable with it at all. So that's all I have to say on the novel. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to comment down below if you guys have read the novel and if you liked it or not or if there's another book that you may be interested in or just if you want to have a discussion with me about something completely irrelevant to this video I would love to talk with you guys and get to know you guys a little bit better I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you again soon bye oh I could be all it is you need cause we are trying to find a way to feel if I could sleep a dream of what we but I can feel you slip further from me Oh, it makes it hard to be When you are all that I want But don't ask